Hello everyone and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU4, the rights of man playing as Ethiopia. It's the start of another week. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, one quick thing, someone pointed out, and you're correct, I noticed this too, I forgot to unseize this province from the Separatists, so we're just gonna march on over there. And we're gonna try to take them back. Lost an advisor? Oh no! Alright, who we wanna hire? Uh, can't really afford the Diplo rep or trade efficiency guys right now. We could go for the Spy Network construction. It's kind of sucky, but... Ugh. Um... I guess power is power. I'm not really happy about it, but it is something. One uh, suggestion that has been made in some of the last videos, and I actually tend to agree, is that I should consider vassalizing some states. Um, specifically, some people suggested that I release some nations and create vassals. A little bit harder to do in the early game. Um, because you can't create client states, like I was when I was the Roman Empire. So you really have to rely upon nations that do have some cores and then just release the nation. Right now, I think I only have this guy, Semyon. And I don't really want to release Metri Bahri. So realistically, it probably would be just more cost-effective to just attack someone like Elodia, for example, and force vassalize them. Should be fine by me. Um... We actually can rival War Songali again for some reason. I'm not sure why. But let's absolutely do that. Heck yeah. Anyways, who? Some, uh, someone did suggest that I attack the Mamluks now, by the way, while uh, they're weak after losing to the Ottomans. Let's take a look at the ledger real quick and just see what we've got. So the Ottomans have still got... Um, I can't... Where are the Ottomans? The Ottomans aren't on here? But I've met them. They're right here. Hello. I've met you. In fact, I'm going to improve relations with you for a little bit. There they are. That was weird. 25,000 troops, compared to the Mamluks, who have... Also 25,000 troops. So the Mamluks, even though they lost that war, are significantly stronger than me, and I really don't think it would be a good idea to poke them right now. That said, if I can find a way to ally the Ottomans, I absolutely will, because um, right now there are only two great powers close to me. It's the Ottomans and the Mamluks. The Ottomans are going to try to kill the Mamluks. I want to kill the Mamluks. Our stars have aligned. Let's be friends. I'm not sure they're going to let me. Because I am far too weak to be interesting to them. But eventually, maybe, we could actually be friends. They're going to be a long-term threat, but in the early game, I might be able to use them. In the meantime, there's not much I can do about the Mamluks. If they decide to attack me, then I could actually be in a lot of trouble. We can humiliate Warsongali. Someone did mention, by the way, that I made a mistake when I attacked Yemen. I humiliated them instead of showing superiority, which was like a 100% war score deal. Yeah, um, I absolutely should have done that. I should have stuck with the war. I should have sieged them down completely. And humiliated them. I would have gotten significantly more power projection. But for some reason, I forgot that that was a thing because I never used the Humiliate CB. Do you want to build any churches, by the way? Oops, a little too much. Uh, point 13, that's pretty good. Go ahead and build one in the capital. I see point 1. There's a couple okay provinces, but nothing really great. As far as marketplaces, we already have some here as well. And these are the two I care about. I guess one more in the capital, but I don't even have enough development here. Gosh dang, I've only got ten development in my capital. Oh, that's so sad. It's terrible. It really is. Terrible. Let's get one more claim. I can't quite get another claim. I'm getting claims against Elodia on the off chance that I end up wanting to use it. But realistically... Vassalizing them would probably be better, just because I'm trying to save admin power. Complaints about Bailiff. A Bailiff in one of our provinces has earned a reputation as a greedy and cruel person. The local populace have gathered a petition to see him removed. Lose 10 prestige. I'm going to lose the prestige. And you know what? Since we're already really low on prestige, I'm going to disinherit my heir. Now here's the thing. I know that I have pretty much no chance of a new heir, which is terrible. I, I get it. Here's the thing. But Edda is a god-awful leader. one to one is about as bad as you could possibly get. And he has Naive Enthusiast. Because I don't have any royal marriages, I don't think I can fall under any sort of personal union. If I get rid of my heir, and my king dies, I think a random noble somewhere in Ethiopia will ascend to the throne. And at that point, it's just a dice roll. It might be better than this one to one so I'm going to lose the 50 prestige. Oh, and the other reason I was thinking about doing that is because, yes, I did have positive prestige before, but it was ticking down. Now I have negative prestige, which is terrible, but it's ticking up. So it's going to reach a new equilibrium, at least for a while. I'm not going to any wars, so it shouldn't hurt me too much. 
And uh, I would like to have a chance of just getting a better air because I can't abide a one to one for this long. That would just be horrible. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and convert some more Sunni. Uh, we do need to grab another claim against Elodia. Shendi or Beha? I'm going to go for Beha just because it would look better on the borders. And we'll pull off of them. I should probably improve relations with my allies, at least for a little bit. They're already pretty close to topped off, but why not, right? Okay. One more thing I do want to do. I want to take this province from Yemen before Hejaz or Amman can get to it. Why? Because it's a coastal center of trade, and I need as much power in this trade node as possible. I mean, if I can get this, I already have this one. If I can get this and eventually get this, that'll be pretty good. That'll give me a lot more power, and I can try collecting some money before it goes to Alexandria. Uh, Mamluks, you're staging a surprising number of troops down here. What are you doing? You're just trying to make sure that no, um, separatists can steal your territory? Is that what you're doing? Or are you planning for something insidious against me? That would be rude. I don't think I would appreciate that. I don't think I would appreciate that at all. Hmm. That said, Yemen also does not have direct borders with me, so I actually don't have Deus Vault. I already have a claim. So I could go to war with them pretty much as soon as our truce expires, which is January of 1462. But I would have to fight Ajuran and Hormuz in the process. Should be a little less fun. Should I build some more ships? Probably because I'm going to need a little bit more naval dominance than I currently have. Let's build three more, in fact. I think that'll have to be fine. My force limit is up to 20. We should build another troop, like so. Yeah, I'm using up some manpower, but again, better numbers means I can take less losses from a war and stuff like that, so. We're just doing the best I can at this point. Mogadishu, who are you? I don't recall you existing previously. Maybe you didn't, I'm just not paying attention. It's very likely, actually. Very likely indeed. 20,000 troops for me. Okay, that's honestly not terrible, considering the fact that the Ottomans and the Mamluks are down to 25. I mean, if I, Little Ethiopia, am at 20, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Let's recall off of Oman. I'm going to build a spy network against the Mamluks and get a claim. Just preemptively. You never know when I'm going to find an opportunity to use it. Maybe sometime soon, maybe sometime never. I, who knows, really. <laughs> But it might be worth a shot. Uh, talented and ambitious daughter. The lack of an heir is worrying both the people of Ethiopia and your advisors. You have an ambitious and talented daughter who has impressed both diplomats, foreign nobles, and your personal advisors with her wit and cunning. Is it not time to consider her as the heir to the throne? I lose 10 legitimacy, but I get a 3-5-3. Three, three. That's not terrible. Or I'm not dead yet. I can still sire a son or two. Local unrest. I could go with this. A 353 is not bad. I'm going to have a female ruler soon enough when I die. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, somebody's increasing their morale. What are you doing? Mamluks are scaring me. I'm raising army maintenance. Truce with Yemen has expired. The Mamluks were building a spy network against me. Uh oh. They may be thinking about doing bad things. Very, very bad things. One of their armies has just left. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think they're thinking about doing things that I don't much appreciate at all. All right. Do I consider attacking the Yemen to go for this territory right now? I'd have to fight Ajuran. Ajuran is a rival of mine. I could probably separate piece them, humiliate them, take a lot of money from them. Uh... And I could even make them annul some trees with Warsongali and stuff. I could attack Warsongali, not have to worry about fighting them later. Oh, they're allied to Mombasa, are they? Interesting. This little guy right here. Um, If I do that, I need to be careful. Because... If I cross the strait and I don't have naval superiority, I could get crushed. And my army would be stuck over here, and I can't fight them. So I want to kill Ajuran first. Peace them out. And then have all my ships together, hopefully, a strong enough navy to actually hold the strait? Maybe. I don't really know. Amon has 10,000 troops. Hejaz has 8,000. I have 20,000. Mamluks have... 31. Yeah, they're pretty scary. Religious zeal! Inspired by our fervent beliefs and religious policies, our missionaries are proving to be more convincing in their quiet chats with the unbelievers. Missionary strength and the clergy gain some loyalty. Sweet. I like that a lot. 
Yeah, we have some ships now getting built. Um, let's go ahead and pull our ships back. We'll just make sure that they're all in good uh, defensive territory. I don't want to get them killed. There we go. Oops. And Master of Mint died. Don't care. All right. We now have six ships. Yemen. If you look at the ledger. Navies. All the way to the bottom. Yemen has... Three light ships and three transports. That's a fight I could probably win. Hormuz also has a few ships. Uh, this is looking kind of iffy. Maybe it's not a good idea to attack Yemen right now. Especially if the Mamluks are right here. I mean, you... With 30,000 troops sitting here, waiting to pounce on me, you just know that the moment I declare war on Yemen and I'm distracted, they're going to make a move. They still haven't made a claim against me, though. And I know that they can't build a spy network. And it's been a few months. They may not even have a 20 spy network to actually make a claim anymore. So maybe they can't for a while. I don't know. I'm very worried that I'm not going to be able to get to Yemen. But it could be worth a shot. We're going to try it. We're going to be bold. I don't really want to take anything beyond just one simple province. It won't cost me a lot of admin power. But I want the trade. I need the trade power. And it would give me an opportunity to get some more power projection by fighting a rival. Okay. Confirm war. Uh, go, 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 go. Now they have military access to Warsanga Lee already. So I need to find their capital. I need to find a way to humiliate them. How many forts you got? One. You've got one fort. Also, apparently this is a subject. Did not realize that. Conversion successful. Can I get to this fort instead? What's this? A loan offer from Mombasa. What? They're offering us a loan of 15 ducats. Well, thank you, but no, I don't need that. A new champion of the... We have another one? Holy crap. Okay, hang on. We could get ourselves another general. Uh, tempting. However, the legitimacy sounds pretty good right now. Uh, I need better prestige... I need to reduce unrest. I need a lot of things. Very tempting. Another 100 tradition guy, though. It's so good. But I would lose even more prestige and even more legitimacy. My nation would be in turmoil is what's going to happen. Still, who knows? We could get something amazing. Ah, screw it. YOLO. Alright, we got a 5251. It is marginally better than who we had before. Who is this person and how old are you? Can I find out how likely you are to die? I do not know. Nope, I have no idea when you are likely to die. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, let's split the army up real quick. Actually, look, can we kill this? Let's try to kill this real quick. There we go. There's 3,000 dead troops. Let's siege something down. Oh, crap. I need to... Okay, hang on. Go over here. Switch these guys around for a second. I need to get generals in two different places right now. Recall from the Ottomans. They like me as much as I can get them. Okay, you guys and you guys. New general. We'll try to siege down your underling as fast as possible as well. Okay. They're going to siege some stuff from me. Um, which kind of sucks. I'm going to get some war exhaustion, basically, is what's going to happen. I don't think there's really any way around that right now. Well, they don't have a lot of troops, and we managed to kill quite a few of them. Oh, right, we also converted some people, and I forgot. There we go. Do we care about getting another missionary right now, or do I want to save the power? Uh, Admin Tech 6 would open up workshops. We're still ahead of time. I'm going to get this next idea and start doing more missionaries. And part of the reason for that is the sooner I get religious unity, the better for um, my corruption and other things like that. National unrest and so on. And I have enough power to take the one province I want, and I'll I'll hold off on getting any more ideas and taking too much more territory until I can get the next level of tech. At least that'll be the idea. We'll see if it works or not. We'll just continue playing on speed 5 for a little bit. Um, love to take these guys out. Love to humiliate them. Love to get some power projection. Love to get more monarch points. Just across the board, these things would be good. Ah. Looks like Elodia cannot put down their separatists, and now they're losing territory. Interesting. Well, that'll make it even easier for me to kill them later, so... Okay, we got that. 
Can we go kill this real quick? This horsey. You're dead. Let's go up here. They only have small stacks, so I think we can probably put down a lot of these. And I'm not too worried about it. What are you doing? Why are you now out? Oh, right, because... Ooh, wow. I just realized they took the coastal territory. My ships are exposed. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, hello. That's interesting, isn't it? Whoop. 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 Double back. It happens that our air is just and will give us minus two unrest. Oh, my daughter is amazing. I love this woman. It's like play, It really is like playing CK, CK2. The military ideas of Eleni. My wife is proving to be a fearless woman, often seen studying the techniques of soldiers during their training. Sometimes she even approaches the practice grounds herself. While some were initially hesitant to engage the royal Itej in melee, others were curious about the skills she brought with her life, uh, from her with her life in Gojam. Even though it was, no, it was a surprise to some people, her reputation for handling herself in a fight is not an unwarranted one. In addition, the presence of the Itej seems to be encouraging effects on the troops. 50 military power. Would you look at that? I know I'm getting kind of close to capped on power. And we're well ahead of time. Where are you going? I'm going to kill your cavalry. Don't you dare run from me. That's right. You get back here. All right. Now we need to run up here. This fort is in the highlands. If we can get up here... I want to test something. Because from what I'm understanding, what I hear, is um, that it doesn't actually matter what my maneuver is, and it doesn't matter if I'm in the forts. Forts will always be defensive. So now I've got a third source of information from the last video, and this would be a good opportunity to test it. Looks like he might be running away, actually. Well, if he's not going to sit on the fort, then that's kind of boring. How can I test things if he's not going to do that? All right. Hang on. Let's try splitting a lot of things up. Okay, you go here. Whoops. Is there a faster way? V. Nope, I can't just close down one at a time. Damn. Oh, I totally can. Okay, is everyone moving? Manlooks were once again trying to build a spy network. Did they get a claim on me? No, they did not. I hear a lawnmower outside, and I hope you guys don't. But you might. Let's kill the stack. Choose with the doll has ended. Okay, we can now kill them if we want. There we go. Okay, let's go and re-siege down some provinces here. Uh, I need to get some coastal territory back, I think. I want to make sure that I can dock up my ships so we don't put ourselves at unnecessary risk. Whoops, there was one more. Okay, you go here. Sweet. Carpet sieging is easy now. I love it. Doop, 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 doo, doo. Gather all of you up. You go here. You go here. You both go here. Okay. Unbelievers in Zila Waver. While most of our nation fears the Sunni invaders, a few nation a citizens seem to welcome them after Zila fell to the enemy. Its inhabitants seem to have started considering if they'd be better off in a country headed by rulers of their own faith. In an effort to mitigate this betrayal, the local rulers have sent a messenger to our court, requesting promises of more hands-off approach to religious matters. Where am I trying to convert right now? Not there. Local autonomy. Or Yemen gets a core. I do not care if Yemen gets a core. They're kind of weaker than me. Right? This one right here. We will not accept disloyalty. Heck no. Oops. All of you guys need to go over here real quick. There we go. That was easy. Okay. Go here. Go here. Go here. Split up. Split up. We're going to siege everything back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now my na uh, rival, there we go, my rival is in a particularly bad pickle. Goody goody gumdrop. This seems to be going pretty well. Let's get all of you guys together shortly. Okay. Oop. In these dark days of war and death, a reminder of new beginnings can ease the pains of our people. 
Our great Nagusa Nagas Zara Yakob and his noble Itej Leni have been blessed with another child against all freaking odds. The arrival of the babe has brought new hope and energy to the royal couple, what happened to my daughter? And by extension to their court and subjects, many people dream that this child will grow up to be a better, brighter future, and that all the fighting will thus be worth it in the end. Lose two war exhaustion. The birth of a new solid babe revitalizes the people. Okay, but did that change who my... No, it appears that my daughter still is the heir. But I have another child. Does that mean that if I lost this heir, I actually would have yet another heir? <laughs> that could be, actually. It's kind of a hidden thing, the family tree in this game. Like, you really don't know exactly... Um, why did I lose a troop? Oh, this one right here. You really don't know how many children my king has. Realistically. Which I've always thought that it should tell you, kind of like in CK2. So you lose your heir, but there are like five more children to pick from. But at the same time, you know, then you would have no problem just getting all your heirs killed. So there's got to be a certain sense of risk. Uh, do I lose a commandant? Discipline. Or do I lose some prestige? <laughs> um, chance of some more power? Sure. I got Abin power. Perfect. Look, prestige doesn't matter, right? Right? Why can't I cross? Oh, Hijaz? Did I never get military access? I didn't. Well, I'll be damned. Amon, let's get some from you as well. Thank you. Cross. Cross. Let's go kill Yemen. We've managed to convert the heretics of Arsi and Semyon. Wonderful. We're going doubly fast now. Let's get in here and crush Yemen. Elodia's trying to cause issues. Where are you going? No, seriously, but where are you going? You're not allowed to run from me. Come back here. Come back here! And that's under my control. Nope, but, yep, yep, you go there. You go here. To having two 100 tradition generals is just insane. Uh, it looks like General Hale Ezena just got the Ruthless trait, which just gives me extra fire damage by 10 freaking percent. This one right here? Oh, wow, yeah, there's the trait right there. Ruthless. Land fire damage plus 10%. That's ridiculous. By the way, I'm over 1,000 power. I can have up to 1,100, apparently, so... You know, whatever, I guess. Uh, do I want to go and siege down Hormuz? Yeah, let's let's just peace out some more people and get as much money as possible, right? Do I want to build another church? Sure, why not? Right here. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, I could afford some new tech. I probably shouldn't right now because we're still ahead of time, and that's a 10% difference. Whereas next year it'll go up by 1%. So I can save myself 9% cost if I wait one more year before I get any tech. And that seems um, that seems smart to me. All right, I need to end this video here, but thank you guys for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.